sorry, I can't. I'm just about to film a what's on my iPhone video. I'm sorry, I'll try harder. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. I kind of mentioned it in my last video how I was asking if you guys wanted me to do a what's on my iPhone. I got some comments to do a room tour and a Q&A video. I'm probably going to be filming those soon, just FYI. But with the Q&A video, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get you guys to ask me questions, but I'll let you know when the time comes closer. But for now, I'm going to be doing a what is on my iPhone 6s plus so here is my phone this is just what it looks like it is just the silver iphone 6s plus like i mentioned before so yeah if you guys want to know i am i just have this case on it this is just a marble phone case that i got from amazon if you want i can link it down below because i know you guys really like to know where i get my cases from so i promise i will link down below where you can get this case if you really want it so let's just get into it. Well, I guess I need to re-record this video. I filmed my entire video just to realize that my phone recording was messed up. Well, so my lock screen is just this picture. It's just a car selfie of me and I just have white borders on it. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Now I'm gonna move on to my other wallpaper. It's just, um, marble, marble. Why do I keep forgetting that word? Okay, it is just marble, because marble is like my favorite pretty recently. So yeah, now we're just, most of this is just kind of normal iPhone stuff. So we have messages, calendar, photos, weather, clock, maps, pretty self-explanatory. Then we have this heart eyes emoji folder, and I just have Insta size, which lets me add white borders to my pictures. For example, my feet picture, just kind of white borders. Pretty self-explanatory. Then I went more into detail on my Visco cam one, how I edit my Instagram pictures, so yeah. Then Instax share, just, I have this little in Instax box thingy that lets me download pictures from my phone and make them Polaroid pictures. So if I want to, I could just do this, connect to my printer and like print it out, but I ran out of the little cartridges type thing that you have to put in the thing, so I have to buy more. But yeah, and then I just have Afterlight, which I really love to edit my pictures, but you just pick a picture and you just kind of edit it like normal. But I really like it. Um, I think it was a dollar on the App Store, but I think it's really worth it. So then I just have Instagram. <laughs> then I just have Instagram because I love Instagram. But if you want to follow me, it's just Branzana. I switched my theme though. I used to have a, like a square theme, but I went back to white borders because I'm sorry, I just really love white border pictures. I feel like they look really pretty and everything, but this, these are just my pictures if you want to see, but yeah, go follow me. <laughs> but now I have Snapchat, which I love Snapchat, so you can just take a picture, like I don't know, my camera if you want, or I could just take a picture of me, or you know, whatever. Then you can add filters, do whatever and then you can send it to people. But this is just my Snapchat. My name is just Branzana. Pretty sure if you're on a mobile device, you can just screenshot this. Then when you come here, just put um, add friends and then just press add by snap code. Then pick the picture of that snap code and it should work, I'm pretty sure. If you're on a computer, I'm not sure if you can just take the picture with your phone and if it'll work the same. If it does, let me know. But yeah, and then this is my story right now. Yes. Yes. But yeah, you should go follow me on Snapchat. So then I have Twitter. I don't use Twitter much though. But my username is just BranzanaXOXO if you want to go follow me anyways. Because I would love that. Then I just have We Heart It. And I love We Heart It. We Heart It's like one of my favorite things. Oh. But oh my gosh, I am losing my voice. But this is my canvas. It's just a bunch of, like, I'm obsessed with the color white on this. Like, everything has to have at least some sort of white or just kind of match. Just makes me happy to see that. But my name is just Branzana on here if you'd like to follow me. Yeah, of course, everything will be linked down below, all of my things. But let's see, we'll go through. For example, let's say I like this girl's hair in this picture, okay? So I just double tap it, 
and now I've liked it. If I want to add it to a collection, I can, so I'll just put it in my hair goals collection, and that's pretty much it. But I really love it. But yeah, it's kind of like Pinterest, I guess, but I think, or Tumblr, or both. But yeah, I just really like it. Then we have notes, calculator, phone, iTunes, App Store, Safari, settings. Then I just have my grades because my school does this thing, has this website where you can go and you can look up your grades. You can see what you're missing and all this stuff, which I think is really helpful. So yeah, I'm happy my school does that. And I'm not going to show you because I don't want to show you my grades. But yeah, now let's go into the Apple folder. These are just, um, these are just kind of apps that iPhones come with that are useless. So we have wallet, videos, stocks, news, iBooks, health, FaceTime, podcast, watch, game center, compass, tips, voice memos, contacts, find friends, find iPhone, reminders, and mail. So yeah, I don't use any of that stuff. Then at the bottom, I just have my camera and I actually have this folder. I know a lot of people are curious of how you get a folder down there because you really can't, but all you have to know is that you have to have a folder up here before you have a folder down there. So you just like drag a folder down here and then it just works. So I'm going to move it back though. But yeah, in this folder, however, I just have Starbucks because yeah, I don't even use it though, but I have Starbucks. Then I have Line and WhatsApp and I, those are messaging apps and I literally only have those to talk to my relatives um, because they live in Panama and it would cost money if I just regularly texted them. Then I have Winello. Winello just lets you like shop and stuff. Then I have Wish. Wish is amazing to be honest. You can have the best deals ever really on Wish. So, okay. So for example, let's see something like this dress, okay? Or no, let's go with this little um, jumpsuit type thing. See, like it's really pretty and stuff. The original price was $100, but you can get it for nine bucks on here. Probably for a bit of shipping, but not much. The reason why it's so cheap is because the shipping takes a really long time, but I mean, like, I mean, hey, it's a cheaper price. I just have Amazon, which I use so much, but yeah. And I just have YouTube and Studio. Studio just kind of lets me see all my um, YouTube like comments and everything. And I just have Pinterest, which I don't really use, so I mean, why give it out? Then I have Gmail and Netflix. Then I just have Talking Dead because I love The Walking Dead. And if you've ever seen After The Walking Dead, they have Talking Dead and they let you answer like questions and stuff in real time. So yeah, they tell you to go to this website. So I went to the website and I figured I'd just add it to my home screen and just have it there like forever rather than just having to go to the website every time I wanted to use it. So then I just have this folder with these elephants and I just have Spotify which just lets you listen to music and I have music and then I have SoundHound which you just, um, SoundHound just lets you, um, like if you're listening to a, a, a song on the radio and you don't know the name of it but you really want to know the name of it and who sings it and everything you just kind of hold like press down the button and then um, just let it listen to the music and then it'll just tell you what it is. I know a lot of people say I should get Shazam instead and I've had Shazam, I just prefer SoundHound to be honest. Then I just have SoundCloud which lets you like get music and listen to music and stuff as well. So then I have these like three little devils like emojis or whatever and then I just have characters and crazy text and cool fonts. All of those are just pretty much apps that let you like have like cool and funny text and stuff which I used to put a lot in my Instagram pictures but I don't anymore. So then I just had Facebook Messenger which just kind of like I don't have Facebook on my phone but I have Messenger even though I don't use either but then I have Clue which Clue honestly it just um, lets you know about your, like your period cycle and everything and it's pretty cool though because it does uh, it's also like it also tells you when you're most likely to be able to get pregnant, so it's pretty cool if you don't want to get pregnant, you know, kind of like schedule around that, but yeah. Then I just have this flower folder, and I just have a bunch of games on it. So I have Minecraft, which is just like a game where you like build stuff or whatever. I don't know. I haven't played in it forever though. Then I have Pop the Lock, which it's kind of boring, I guess. I don't really use it that much, but you just kind of like... Um, 
pair I'll show you I guess real quickly but then you just kind of oops then you just kind of like press the yellow thing and like yeah you go down and stuff kind of boring but then I have the amazing brick which this actually gets really addicting if you play it for a while so you just kind of tap back and forth and then you try to like go up and stuff and then yeah pretty fun and then I have circle which I like as well I like most of my games but you're just a circle and you just kind of go around and there's a bunch of different tasks you have to collect you have to complete like collect this many diamonds in a game or you know whatever then I just have flow which it's you connect the dots or whatever pretty much spinny circle which is fun oh my gosh stupid app star but yeah so you just kind of match it up with the colors and I have like a ridiculous high score of like 225 if you guys had a spinny circle you should comment down below what your high score is um so yeah then I just had piano tiles which you just, you know, the keyboard game or whatever, pretty much everyone's known of. Then I just have pool, which it's actually gotten kind of popular in my grade for some reason, or my school for some reason. But yeah, you just play pool, I guess. So then I have color, which color is pretty fun, actually. Um, so let me show you real quick. So you just kind of have to match the thing up with the color. And yeah, it's pretty fun. That's just kind of how it goes for the rest of the game. And then lots of different shapes pop up, and yeah, it's just fun. Ooh, I dropped a pencil! Then I just have Lifeboat, which goes with Minecraft, but I don't want it. And servers and stuff, and I don't want to go into detail about that. But then I just have Circle Rush, which honestly is a dumb game. I should delete it, but you just kind of like, you know, that. Okay, stop. Bye. Bye. Okay, so then I have T0, which... Let, which is just a countdown app. So I have my birthday right now, which is in 34 days. I am excited! Get to get my driver's license. Then I just have Christmas, so yeah. Then I have InstaTrack, which lets me know if I've gained any followers or lost any. And yeah. So then I have Musical.ly, which I'm obsessed with Musical.ly. You can just do short little video. It's kind of, yeah. You just do short little videos of you like lip syncing and like doing like like motions and stuff. But yeah, my musically is just at Branzana and I've been obsessed with it pretty much recently. But yeah, then I just have, okay. For all you guys who go to school, hang on. Okay. For all of you guys who go to school and your internet is always blocked, because you just press connect. Then the little guy does his thing, then when he turns blue, you get a little VPN signal at the top and it lets you it just lets you go on block sites using the um, using your Wi-Fi. Because I know my school blocks Instagram and Snapchat all the time, but I love those are like my two favorite things. So you just use that and then you can get on it like and it's just works out great. So you're welcome in advance for showing you this, if you didn't know already at least. Then I just have Google Translate you know, to help me speak to my Spanish relatives. Then just Sephora, I don't know why, but I do. Then I just have car gurus, which you can just look at cars and stuff, but I don't really use it that much. Well, I mean, I like looking at like cars and stuff, but okay, so that is everything that is on my phone. Gosh, I am seriously losing my voice. <sighs> and that is totally gonna make it worse though, to be honest. Okay, well, I'm sorry that this video is pretty long, or at least I'm thinking it's going to be really long, and I'm pretty sorry about that, because I mean, what's on my iPhones usually get pretty wordy and stuff. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!